All right, Coach Wade, Coach Larry Wade, one of the, and probably the best strength and conditioning <laughs> coach in the game. Coach Sean Porter, Kayla Plant. But Larry, be right up your alley, strength right. and conditioning. Right. Did you think something was wrong with Joshua in the first Ruiz fight, and is it something that can be fixed uh, up your alley for a rematch? Def definitely things that can be fixed. I mean, let let's not take away from that one fight and make him not less than a champion. He's a champion regardless. There were some mistakes made, whether they were through a straining or just mental focus, but I don't look at that as being a definition of who he is as a boxer. He's an amazing boxer, didn't have a great night, some things didn't happen the way he wanted to, and I'm expecting him to come back and uh, you know, fix the problem, whatever they are. But, but people, you know, I want your expert opinion on this, but, uh, but people felt he was tired in the, the third round, fourth round in that fight. Is that what you saw too? I did. And, and here's the thing. Let me, let me clarify some things for people. When you see a lot of muscle, right, you have to understand that it takes oxygen for that muscle to function. If you're not fit enough, what happens is you fatigue faster. So hopefully his cardio is picked up or the training changed, but the more muscle you have, the more oxygen you need to move it. So when you see a lot of my guys, truly they have a lot of muscle, but they also have a cardio to support it. So, you know, either he has to uh, change some things up or, you know, uh, put some more work in. Either way, I think that he's still a world champion. He's still a great guy. And I'm expecting for him to come back with, you know, a blaze, honestly. So, so as crazy it may look and sound to people, um, watching the watching the fight, is it possible that Ruiz's body is, is a better body for boxing than, than Joshua's physique? No, I don't. I don't agree with that. I just think that the, the, the more that you have to carry from a muscular standpoint, let's be clear, muscle usually determines power. So if you get a guy who's fit, who's been training, but his cardio doesn't necessarily support the muscle mass, you get a situation where a guy with power runs out of juice early, right? And so when you see Ruiz, you, we automatically disqualify him thinking because he doesn't have cuts that he's not fit. He's fit for his age, he's fit for his size. And here's the biggest part, this is not a bodybuilding contest. It's a boxing contest. Ruiz is a champion for a reason. He's been underestimated for many, many years. He got that opportunity, he took it, took advantage of it. And now he's a world champion, and I applaud him for that. And uh, Larry, I, like you mentioned, you know, I know Sean got lots of muscle. Right. So does Caleb Plant, right. eight right. pack and all. Right. But are them you guys are a little leaner than Joshua? Wouldn't you say? So? Definitely. I mean, so should Joshua lean out a little bit? Then? Well, let's let's you know? think about the, the weight class we're talking about. We're talking about heavyweights, right? How much cardio does a heavyweight athlete do? You know, uh, right? Excitement. Not you nearly know, as uh, much as you're going to get in welter or super metal or you even know, light heavy. Uh, all the big Those guys usually run nice. a little more because they're smaller guys, but when you get to the heavyweight, they're not nearly as active outside the ring and definitely not nearly as active in the ring, right? So you get a guy like Deontay Wilder, a little thinner, but we ain't really seen him struggle from a conditioning standpoint that much, right? Because he definitely works a little bit more. You know, his trainer, I know very well, comes from athlete track and field background, you know very well, does really well with it. So, you know, when you get the proper cardio to support it, and, but of course your nutrition has to be in line, you get a guy in the heavyweight that actually can do a lot. Thank you, Larry.